So the uh, okay, the now story I was going off. to is um mm. so one for context is um the, and again the other thing mm. I know there's a lot of issues with the county government of Nairobi yeah. but also because of that it attracts a lot of other things that are not correct True. Yeah. but you know there's also propaganda media that works from the opposition side and then there's just guys who are angry yeah. and anything without validating one anini like True. for instance the common thing online has been guys blaming Sakaja for Uhuru Park uh, why is it not open why is it not accessible to people but i'm like Uhuru Park has never been handed over to the county government True. so Sakaja had nothing to do with Uhuru Park okay. even when they did when they needed to do Nairobi festival even them they had to get permission to do. anyway True. Mm-hmm. so long story what i'm coming to is now Uhuru Park has finally been, been handed o- over back yeah. to the county government so yeah. now you can call out Sakaja for anything mm-hmm. regarding Uhuru Park but didn't they, didn't they just open it though Yeah, so what happened ago. is yeah, there was yeah, the handover on... the handover ceremony mm-hmm. yesterday and, uh, that's yesterday. from the yesterday. state yeah from, yesterday uh, handover from the state NMS to okay, NMS, okay. Yeah. Because remember those when Sonko left yeah. NMS, NMS took, took over, over. Yeah. so NMS because there were I think there were debts with contractors yeah. they could not hand over to the county okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah so when when everyone was asking Sakaja about who why is it not open about yeah. It, yeah. you know but I feel like if you're Sakaja you can't respond to everything true Um anyway so now it's been handed finally finally been handed over to the county government so yeah. now the county government runs it now during the handover is when Sakaja was um are we okay so during the so ha- calling me huh? oh. uh-huh. so during the handover is when now Sakaja was talking about Uhuru Park the amenities that are going to be there yeah. talking about uh the tenders so, so he was he was asking guys to when the tenders announced publicly for yeah. guys to apply like yeah. guys were they have the boat the boat thing they need someone to run it so uh they they want hotels in so they want people to come run the hotels and also what now everyone is that, talking about that's why you know you've lost me that, automatically no no hotels for what but guys go there you need to eat yeah, see guys like if it's a public yeah. park so if guys are there for a whole day to cycle bikes you need to to have food food is fine i see where a hotel would no, make sense not a hotel i meant restaurant okay yeah, yeah. restaurant restaurant yeah. Yeah. no you need bro <laughs> because i was there i was like excuse you why because also room, if yeah. i go to huru park i yeah. need to i need to get a drink yeah. i need to eat so Me, honestly, we need restaurants yeah. in my head i don't envision a restaurant being in a park if listen What? listen What do you listen envision, like food trucks yes, and stuff yes a truck something that okay. can but leave the park but it's still a restaurant but it's mobile bro. You no, it's still I mean. a restaurant. So maybe we're talking about provisions for eateries. Yes, that's that's, that's but what. But the thing mm-hmm. is, Uhuru Park operates every day. Yeah. True. So whether you have, it's like saying Mama Rocks is not a restaurant at mm. Alchemy, it's a food you. truck. So the structure is not the thing. Mm. The service is what we call a restaurant. That's what I'm saying. For me, I'm thinking. You see, like the way, like the way we see in movies. Yeah. It's like there's like a hot dog truck. There's yeah. a what, like. Just okay. something that's still like, possible. Ba- like a bite, that's still not possible. like a proper. You, you get what I mean? No, I think we need a proper one. And both, both of we them. We need are. both. Yeah, okay. we need options basically. Not something at as big as CG in a seat for four thousand people. Okay. No, but like something like I have an option. Like let's say like an Arabic street kitchen. Gotcha. Yeah, I have an option for ice cream. I have an option pizza. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because also. Okay. If you want people to spend their whole day they need to eat bro That's they need true. to drink they yeah. need to drink water they need to drink whatever you know yeah. so now what uh what people are most upset about <laughs> is when he mentioned that he part of the tenders that will be announced is also for a club <laughs> and his reasoning was CBD is where people used to go to party and parts yeah. of uh Westlands right yeah. and a bit of LA yeah then CBD's parting has completely died so what they want to do is they want to take back parting to town to clear the noise in residential areas which is something we've covered a lot of a times, lot of times. Yeah. so then he and that, that was his explanation then he was like so also part of the tenders is we also want a club here mm-hmm. and guys are like yeah, it's a public park um, i saw queen gadoni's comment i look like this is a public park that attracts kids families mm. and people from variety all variety of, of people life. Yeah. yeah so now do we need a library or do we need a club True. someone else mentioned someone else mentioned and said okay mm. why not build like an amphitheater yeah a social like hall a social hall or a one things that complement to yeah. a public park thank you are you guys opposed to having a club there yes yeah, who, who yeah, wants club Mbwekze in the middle of yeah. the of the yeah. bro so my question my other question yeah. would be yeah during the day we have families and what not Why can't we transition into also a space that at night it still generates revenue and guys can party? So you have so hold, let me finish. You don't have a bar that opens during the day. Mm-hmm. You have a nightclub that strictly strictly opens at night during the day is completely closed. That takes it's, away it's, from it's, the essence of a park. Me I just feel it's completely unnecessary. Exactly. Like there's no reason there's no reason not why to have it, need... but there's more reason why we should uh, what am I saying? Like If it sits there as a club and everything it'll work. Mm. But the question is why? It's not that we have a shortage of clubs. We have enough clubs I, uh, in Nairobi. Yeah. So, you know um, what I mean? I I I understand the reasoning. No. But I'm like why? Mm. What's what would be yeah. the motivation yeah. 
for us to have a club at Uhuru Park. First things first. Uh-huh. I'd like to understand the full list of amenities that are there because we are all reacting to a short clip where yeah. And I mentioned back up and then the, the clip ends, right? Yeah. Uh, so I want to understand whether there's provisions for more. All mm-hmm. I'm saying is, mm-hmm. as much as it's a, it's a public park that is in the CBD, I'm not opposed to let's have activities that work for everyone during the day, including mm-hmm. families. But also, we, le- we can also have amenities that still serve for guys who don't mind to go party in town. I no, don't, bro. For me, mm-hmm. if you say you have a bar that runs during the day and whatnot, then for a social park, I don't think it's the best idea. The but now, if you're talking about even progression and also working towards 24-hour economies, then we have to switch it up as well. I don't so am I opposed so. to having a club in Uhuru Park? I'm not. Mm-hmm. My only thing is, make it strictly a nightclub so that when families clear during the day and you can't ride boats, I don't mind if guys want to go party. The same way I'd say, mm-hmm. um, if you have an amphitheater, Amanini, I'd love to have those because we don't have enough of those. And yeah. make it also affordable to people, uh, then it's like saying we have this social hall that only works during the day. I'm like, work during the day, but also pro- make provision for guys who want to watch shows during the night. Because me, that's me, different. From a night that's club. different from a nightclub. When you say a nightclub, I'm talking no, to no, 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 no. A social hall is seriously. very different. A social hall can can be social during the day, during the night. Yes. And you can provide. You can do a day event for you kids. Can you can do a night event, event for people. Yeah. That is There's perfect. no reason for having a nightclub. Club in the park. park. Like why? There's absolutely so what, no what, reason. Okay. Why why are you opposed to having a club at Hull Park? That's Chats, we already have There's enough. There's no reason. We already have enough clubs. No, as it is, clubs. all we do. All we do. What, okay, what is the number? What is the, what is a good number to say it's enough? What is a good number? 20? Whatever the number. Chats, when it costs five, mm. you have so opt- Thank you. Yeah. Then you have opt- we have enough. Regardless how of the number. How do you explain if I opened a nightclub tomorrow, I still have business? But all nightclubs still have business. So and what is We're enough? not saying at Tosha. We are saying we have enough. Chats, you're going around the point. We're not saying a ah, club. You know what I mean? This is Metosha. A club yeah, enough, yeah. in Uhuru Park yeah. is just a no. Like, listen, if it's not broken, don't fix it. We've never had a club. We've never needed one. So, we, so, so even right have, now in this moment, things, it's not needed. The new things that make sense, yes. Okay. It's not That's needed. That's why even you, you're saying, you're not saying I want the club to be there. You're saying you're not opposed. No, if I'm certain not opposed. factions are First, done. I'm not opposed. Like, yeah. I didn't sit down and think of the things I want at Uhuru Park, yeah. to be very honest. You know what I mean? If you draw but I know, I know the thing I didn't want at Uhuru Park that I'm glad they said that it can't happen is political rally. Because okay. you know those crowds, yeah, it's the it gets stress, messy. the grass, yeah. it gets yeah. really messy. Uh, you know, then uh, guys get rowdy, start True. destroying things. So political rallies, no. I was like, for me, for sure, that makes sense. But having a nightclub that works at night, if I'm not. You know, if, you draw, if you drop a list of pros and cons of having a club yeah. at Uhuru Park, yeah. it's more or less the what, same. What will be on either side? Pros, sour to Tajibamba. Yeah. Okay. Another pro, maybe there'll be more revenue too. Yeah. Whoever will be there. Yeah. What Beyond are the cons? That, what's next? The cons. Yeah. The same things you said. It's at night. Security, littering, rowdiness, all no, those things. But, but so these other clubs, they uh, security the and littering. They do the same, but, but if you have a park that doesn't have all that, why bring it there? Exactly. But why not? My question is why not? Because it we has just more... said there's there's more cons. The the why cons not? outweigh the pros. Name them. You literally you named name one them. thing. Apart from revenue, <laughs> you named one thing is this as mic apart not from... working. <laughs> no, you bro. What, what, like, whatever you mentioned doesn't make sense because you uh-huh. say it is security mm-hmm. and then tidiness. I'm like, yo, you own the club. You're responsible for cleaning every morning. What's the problem with that? Same as any other club in Westlands. No. No, ah, security. No, no, no. <sighs> you think someone we don't have who enough has security? a club in Westlands doesn't have jurisdiction over Westlands. True. They pay for rent on that place. In that they have space. That Uhuru eat. Park is that all that many acres. I have my club on that two acres. So question. But now you're giving one, people one access night to club, all that. One uh-huh. nightclub in Uhuru Park. Mm-hmm. And 10,000 families... During the day, I'm a cooler part. Co, I'm a right nini. No, but Gani, what liters the most? They're using the park what for what it's most? meant to be done. Yeah, exactly. So, the park they can sit on the so, grass. So nini? the canjos will come clear that dirt. Mm-hmm. Can't clear the dirt that come from the club. Not from that's where they draw that's the line. That's Mimi, it's extra a, work that is unnecessary. I'm against. Okay. To be very, mm-hmm. we can we can debate till tomorrow. Chaksi yeah. kifungwa club, chaksi apo ati now. Your club is just two acres there. Parking, parking club. No, me want to park. Let's take this thing seriously. Your club is there. You're only using an acre or two of a whole maybe a hundred acres. Yeah. Yeah. But now because your club is in Uhuru Park, you have the whole park yeah. True. left to guys who can loiter, guys who can come there for more reasons, guys True. who attend a Pujifitcha, who attend a Pujifitcha, who attend a Pujifitcha, who attend a Pujifitcha, there's really no Honestly, reason it's, it's opening a can of worms to a lot of drama. And it's not like and you can buy it and fence it. Thank you. It's okay. Let me, yeah. I, I want to, like, we, I, we, we, I, we can don't debate have to, it's fine. Tomorrow. I think, I think your points are valid. Mm. Um, I hear you. I'm against this is one of those fences you can't sit yeah, yeah, and also there's nothing yeah. new we'll say regarding it. You know, yeah. you'll maintain a position, I'll maintain my position. Fuck. And it's fine. Yeah. Fuck. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>